guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel whichever is first i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the introduction of myself i am jen aka x urban sims here on youtube and i make let's plays did you catch that? <laughs> I make, um, well, I would like to think pretty in-depth Let's Plays. I focus mostly on the storytelling aspect of the game, and I love to, in every chance and every turn, get you guys included. So totally take advantage of my comment section on my videos. Um, it really, really means a lot to keep you guys engaged, and it really kind of keeps that, you know, connection there between, between the two of us two of us. Anyways, I am so freaking excited, you guys. I haven't even looked at this game. I haven't even played this game. The only thing that I've done so far is obviously a um, a demo, and we're not really going to focus on creating Sims because I've already got Sims that I am going to play, but um, we are going to focus mostly on um, just kind of the new things that the demo <laughs> didn't touch base on, so I'm pretty excited to go ahead and do that. So first part is obviously going to be create a Sim. Um, if you want to see me actually creating sims i have a ton of cast videos um and i can link them all down below for you guys in case you want to check out how you can actually mold your own sims so if you're not familiar with these sims and this is the first time ever you've ever seen this game and you're like what the hell is this is this barbies for adults anyone I don't, I, don't, I don't know but it's not well i mean it is but it's just it's it's a lot more better so anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump on in um and uh yeah i don't even know what we're doing because i've never even done this before but uh this is the loading screen um kind of actually it's really not uh it's just kind of like the mm, i wouldn't say it's the loading screen it's kind of like the in-between screen and as you can see there's a lot of different animations and kind of like a sneak peek preview of um what the game will be like but of course it's very vague up here we have a few little details here we have the gallery um let me see it says open up the gallery welcome to the gallery so here is the gallery where you can basically see um some new new things that your followers or people you follow um you know have done recently like building houses or uploading your sims or maybe you have some creations and they've been downloaded that kind of stuff then over here we have the community portion of it um where there's just a whole bunch of creations being uploaded you can filter it out by people who you're following maxis or all and then over here you have category options um as by like household lots rooms and vice versa and then you have an advanced um advanced tab over there then last but not least you have your library um let me see i don't know how this would work all the sims i've created don't seem to be on here so that may be a little strange okay um i don't understand what happened here mm -mm. Okay, I'll have to find the sims that we're going to actually be using. Let me see. Mm, I think we'll be able to find it. So yeah, anyways, this is just kind of what that whole situation looks like. And then now we can go ahead and press play. I'm so freaking excited. I really don't know what to expect, you guys. <gasps> okay, whoa. Oh, oof la. Okay, oof la. You French? <laughs> oui, oui. Um, so, oh, and then I didn't show you guys. There's the notification wall. I got no notifications. Then we got the three little dots over here. We got game options, help, lessons, patch notes, credits, and all that other jazz. Game options is a cool tab. You have all your game options. I have pretty much everything on um, Ultra. And if you're wondering about my computer specs, I'll have those down below as well, hopefully. Um, we're just going to kind of do, I'd say, 50% on everything in case it is a little overpowering, out overpowering or whatever. Music, I've got on, like, very low percentage in case it causes um, any problems. Actually, let's just turn it off in case it causes any problems with copyrighted music or anything. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and make sure that I did this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just fix this again one more time. Sorry, guys. Like, can we just, can we please? I'm trying to, like, do this as quickly as possible because I just want to jump into the damn gameplay. Okay, so, yeah, I showed you guys all the interface stuff. So here's your personality panel. We have children. I mean, I already went through basically all the other stuff. So these are not the sims we're gonna be using. We're gonna create a male and a female. For now, just, well, look at you, Bobo. What would you look like as a girl? 
<laughs> I'm just curious. Oh, <laughs> fancy. So we're going to start off with male and female. Um, just to show you guys what's in cast really, really quick. I'm just going to kind of skim through because I do. <gasps> oh, I do want to leave some... Um, some you know goodies for you so this is what a male female or male child sim and this is a female um sim male female male female okay all right so let's just jump into the clothing or personality aspirations these are what you can choose from um right now just very basic Whiz kid. Oh, they're different. Okay, so in creativity, you've got artist prodigy. Uh, the sim has dreams of succeeding in the arts. And then over here, you've got mental whiz kid. Wants to become the smartest kid in school. Motor, we've got rambunctious scamp. Um, this sim wants to be playful and nimble. And then over here, we have social, social butterfly. This sim wants to talk to everybody and make friends. Um, just to show you guys, we'll just click that. I'm assuming all the traits are kind of pretty much the same um, as you would go through, you know, in the adult life. But this is kind of what's what's available right off the bat for children. Okay, so let's just go into the hairstyles. Um, obviously, you've got different types of skin tones. I don't think any of that's really um, changed too much. Different uh, strokes for different folks in case you want to have like a blueberry sim or green bean sim or the Hulk sim. That's cool. Um, maybe even a, a dark skin sim or a light skin sim. Anything in between. Um, unlike the Sims 3, you had the sliders. You don't really have that now. Um, this is what details look like on the kids. You can either pick um, either or. And if it seems like I'm rushing through this, I am. Um, I really love cast, but I just want to get to the damn gameplay. So, but I want to show you guys. So it's kind of like, eh, bittersweet. Uh, so we're just going to go through all the different types of hairstyles um, for the boys. We've got, obviously, just these few here. Looking pretty fancy smancy. I am loving all the boys' haircuts right now. Like, seriously. I feel like we get a pretty decent amount and the textures I was a little worried but they actually look pretty pretty nice this one looks like a plant some hair but that's okay um and this one there too uh, I think we could go to eyebrows next right let's go to eyebrows see what they look like on the kid all right so those are some of the eyebrows here and then the hair colors all different types of flavors um okay so let's go into the eyes pretty much this will be the same throughout they all obviously get different types of eye colors i don't see anything new um that wasn't in the demo that's been added into the full game um these are some of the kids accessories i'm loving these little glasses he looks like such a little whiz kid and then oh these are so adorable and how realistic do these look seriously these are like little ray-bans oh my gosh i can't wait till we have kids in this game um and then we've got some of these little glasses too okay just all different sorts of things and i feel like even though we don't have that pretty snazzy table um you know like coloring wheel i guess you could say it's not really a table but anyways um i kind of feel like the the, the options are pretty standard and i feel like we'll be okay with the whole customization thing at some point i feel like i could overcome this like seriously my son has a pair of these glasses and they are to die for holla like children's place 99 cents bro no joke like yes they're so cute and then the last ones are these and this is just like the accessories when you click on their face i i do believe there will be different um types later on and if you want to get rid of anything in any category you just click the x including hair too if you want your sims to have like nothing on top it's totally chill like it can happen really <laughs> your wish is the command so all right let's just jump into the clothes again i'm not going to try to go through everything um but we will do there's some styled looks let's look at those let's look at the style looks. so for style looks there's just a whole bunch of different types of clothes and i think there's four different styles it would be really cool if you could p make your own your own styled looks and save them you know what i mean i think that would be tons of fun so those are just some of the styled looks and here are some of the clothes for the children again we're just we're just going through it quickly um just to kind of look and see what's what's in here of course we're gonna go through all this stuff in game anyway so if you don't really see you know I, I guess that's not really the right way to put it but I mean if you feel like this is a little a little 
you know, too fast paced, will totally see this stuff a million times over. Trust me and believe. So I think that's about it for the shirts and stuff for the boys. Um, we got some wife beaters. I don't know how the hell you call those wife beaters, white beaters. Like I don't, I don't understand what they're called. Um, let's just put something on him like this for now. I love that little monster shirt. How adorbs. Okay, so for pants, these are kind of what you've got to deal with here. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a funny outfit. Ah, oh my god. It says how cute. Oh, that one matches pretty good. And then, of course, you know, you for your daredevil sims that like to walk around in the chonies. There you go. All right, cool. So I'm actually going to put them in some shorts so we can go ahead and um, see what the shoes look like. And I totally just whistled in your orejas. Okay, look at those. Aren't they just too cute? I feel like these are very similar, though. And that's because they are, Jen. Like, is that me or is that me? They're very similar. Hmm. I don't know if I like that too much but let's just keep peeking around i'm loving everything so far there's like not one freaking thing that i hate and i think for the most part they try to keep things pretty neutral territory like you know not swaying any which way in terms of um going a little crazy or overboard where people won't like it you know what i mean like the pieces are very stylish very in fashion for what's now but also at the exact same time they're very um they're very, not unique, but they're very just chill. Like, they're very just neutral. Like, they're not wild and crazy, and they're not, you know? I, I feel like they're staple pieces. That's exactly it. Staple pieces. But uh, there we go. All right. So I think we pretty much went through the most of the important things. Um, and then, obviously, I have, like, the party set. So we have um, some of these cute little doodads here like full outfits this little hot show hot show outfit is from the um from getting the deluxe addiction addiction no addition so let me see if there's hats um i don't really know if there is there is we have a cute some cute little hats here chicken hat oh my god and they're all different types like i think this is a bear we've got a tiger all 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 sorts of different so different stuff here and these little hats too which is cool because you can wear them with any type of hairstyle underneath unlike the sims 3 where it would change your look completely so i think that's kind of cool and i don't know if there's any makeup no okay so we kind of did that with the boys let's go ahead and jump into the girls same things apply here i'm pretty sure nothing really changes too much now i think you can also change their their voices and um you can't really change their walks or anything so they're just pretty much how they are um let's just look at a few of these hairs i love this little bun like i wish in real life i could do this because it always comes out looking like a soggy donut never looks good never oh my gosh this is so cute it's like a little rapunzel hairstyle and like i instantly fall in love with every one of these sims like their personality is just kind of shine through like i can already think of a story for her and for that little boy it's crazy i am loving it you guys i'm so freaking excited oh my god i'm so excited like this is this is craziness of too much excite too much right like look how innocent this little hairstyle is like is this happening right now i don't know i don't know um same kind of rules apply to the hats here and then in here you obviously have different types of styles that you can do or color patterns rather these ones look fairly girly actually i think but yeah <laughs> i'm just so excited okay so let's just check out the accessories anything different for girls glasses are still the same girls do have a few new accessories um unlike the boys which this looks like a twitter a little twitter um necklace and if you click it i think it should take you right back to it not so much no not so much all right let's try this again okay no not again no okay oh okay no all right <laughs> okay so yeah the little twitter bird the little butterfly necklace it looks so real like i could just reach out and touch them and my personal favorite definitely has to be the little strawberry like how cute are these accessories too cute all right so let's just check in some of the full body outfits obviously we have this hacho combination here and if you want to really make her a full-on hacho there you go okay um and this outfit here probably you should take off the hat gen that looks a little ridiculous like no okay all right you guys are never going to take me seriously if this is your first time being on my channel you trust me it just gets crazy if i'm here <laughs> all right so these are some of the dresses oh beautiful i'm loving them 
Like, seriously? Wow. Blown away. Blown away. They're just too cute. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see what else we've got going on here. We've got um, tops and bottoms. These are some of the t-shirts. Oh my gosh, I love this little kitty one. Oh, and they're different prints too, so always check that out. You know, if you see one, you're like, eh, I like it, but look, a whole different shirt in the same category. Or you can go plain, Jane. It's just kind of up to you. And again, I'm not going through everything because, again, I really want to keep it kind of a surprise. I feel like once you kind of unlock all the the different things that are in The Sims, it kind of becomes like not so much of like an enjoyment. I think it, you lose your your enjoyment out of it. I, I don't even know. I'm so like la, 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 like tongue tied right now. I can't even. <sighs> but yeah, it's pretty much it. I don't think I saw this one in the little boy section. I probably did, but we'll overlooked it. And this one is really adorable too. The little ballet outfit. <gasps> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. And I'm pretty sure if you did like this and then some, I'm already like, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, mm -mm -mm. yep. Styling. Styling. Like, I wish I had a little girl right now. Like, dude, this all just looks good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So some skirts here, some shorts, some pants. You got all different types of pants. You got the three quarters, as my mom likes to put it, the pedal pushes. Um, you've got just a whole bunch of different types of things here that it's really, really, really exciting. And then look, somebody, a gear day has been downloaded, downloaded one more time. I'm assuming that's probably my sim. Maybe it's my husband. I don't know. And then we have some leggings here, which I'm not sure if they were in the boys, but I, I, I'm assuming not. But it's just nice to have, you know, this option, even the mismatch socks, because as a kid, y'all know we, we've been there a few times, and here are some of the gal accessories. Now let's just check out one last thing. Her outfit looks cray. I don't know. Um, we're going to check out the zapatos real quick. So we've got some, like, wellies or rain boots. Okay, these little, oh my gosh, they remind me of the, um, what is it? Like Cinderella or something? Yeah, the Cinderella shoes. You can't really, we're not Cinderella. I'm thinking, um, who am I thinking? Yellow Brick Row Dorothy shoes? Yeah, that's definitely what I'm thinking. And if I'm really, really quiet, FYI, my mom's here. Oh, and my husband's here. Oh, and if you don't know me well enough, you know I get like very, not camera shy, but like I get kind of weirded out when people, I feel like people are listening to me because like, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know. It, it's me. Okay, so this is like, this is like overcoming a huge milestone right now, but that's pretty much it for the girl stuff. Um, let's just go ahead and skim on through. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if we go here and then this is the teens. The teens and the adults look very similar, I think, in my opinion. Um, but I'm just going to go and try to get through as much as this as possible because I do have a time limit for cats. I did go through a lot of these hairstyles in the demo, and I'm not noticing anything really all that different let me check again this is definitely teen right okay yeah he his stance looks a little insecure so you would think that i would understand that that would be a teenager gem but yeah these are just some of the hairstyles and honestly they look all the same from from the demo i'm gonna be honest with you guys and let's see if there's facial hair and there's actually facial hair for teens before there was like uh just like little sideburns and things like that but now they've got like a full array of different types of hairs which you can also change if you want to you want to get crazy with it crazy you want that's a new word girl crazy you want to get crazy with it all right so then we've got a a snow cone oh geez no this is like a tuberculosis hat why am i thinking tuberculosis like that's a disease um oh jeez oh my god um sombrero something like that i think i don't know why is it hat of shame there is a fine line between wonderfully wacky and downright weird the hat is definitely crossed the line so if he wears this this might influence his um personality a little bit and this one too, um, Hysterical Tiger, oh, basically in a nutshell, this would make people laugh. So here is like all different sorts of things. And again, um, this stuff came with uh, getting the deluxe download. So here are some of the hats and stuff. Love it. I think some of these might be a little, yeah, I do. <laughs> some of these might be a little bit um a little bit different so cool all right let's just check out some of the accessories we've got earrings this is just getting crazier and crazier these ones are new i think because they had these ones before and then they have like smaller jewels which i prefer a lot more because i felt like these other ones were kind of kind of crazy and a little, little gaudy yeah i don't know but they look cool 
So here are some hats and again, different types of moodlets. You can read that for a second here. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I love it. I bet you, I bet you if we had him in game right now, Sims would be cracking up all over because he is just, he's got it going on. Okay. Let me see. Oh my goodness. I love it. Ah, so that's pretty much it in the facial section. Um, I think we have some skin details here, which obviously we're not going to be able to see with all this crazy stuff on him. But this is kind of what his little skin details look like. And you can pick and choose. I don't think you can have all of them. No, you can have like three out of four. Or you can have like either. You can't have like the combination of like um, freckles, which kind of sucks. And I don't really know where I go for the tattoos. Okay, here. So there's just different types of tats which are cool. I like that they're actually in this game because unlike The Sims, um, they came out in an expansion and an update. So I feel like this is kind of cool that they're right off the bat, but I love the fact that, you know, tattoos didn't magically appear in The Sims 3. They were kind of like you had to go and get them, but that's okay. I think that's about it. We're just gonna go through a couple more of these items randomly here. And just a lot of vivid, vivid detail in um, this game, it's craziness. Like, oh my God, I love it. Like, just look at the sheen of the clothing. You know, it's just so realistic and so much more like brought to life. I love it so much. I really am so excited to play this for myself. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing after I film for you guys today. Oh my God, is it the real Slim Shady? Please stand up, please stand up. Okay, sit down, okay. Um, we are just gonna go through a few more here. <laughs> Ah, no, 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 I'm so excited. You guys are probably like, calm down, Jennifer. Trust me. If I could go ham, I would go hard in the paint right now. But we got people sleeping, okay? Okay. So let's just check out some of these uh, shirts. Did we do this? No, we didn't. Okay. I'm just going to go through these real fast for you guys. And I think that's about it. Like, I've got, um, like couple more minutes to get through the rest of this and I haven't even touched base with most of it but I went through all the traits and things like that in my demos and stuff so if you're interested totally check them out but let's just do we did full body let's just check out some of the pants we got some boxer shorts that we all want to see mm -hmm. oh wait you're a teen that's disgusting I forgot I'm so sorry <laughs> oh my god I trust me I am not a cradle robber anyways just gonna go through a few more of these little wranglers um and pajama bottoms i'm not really sure if there's a lot of new clothes or not i really can't even tell like my sight is just blinding me let's just go into the accessories here different types of watches and bracelets and rings oh my we've got socks we've got ankle socks we've got high water socks all different types of socks i would have loved to see belts that would have been kind of cool but hey i'm totally satisfied so far so we've got the clown shoes which are pretty sweet and snazzy all different types of things like i really love the fact that um everything looks pretty good you know obviously the party content's a little goofy uh, duh, but i mean everything other than that looks pretty damn good and i don't know if they're a little bit different here um i think they are a little bit different maybe essence of flavor like the food i think that's a new aspiration i'm not sure though but this is just kind of what's what's here I'm sure so many more people are going to go much more thorough than that. And that's the beauty of watching many people's channels. And I know I keep explaining it to you, but like, I always get questions, even though I explain it. People are like, why didn't you go through this? Well, because yeah. like, I don't want to be like a hog and go through everything. Like that's the fun in watching other people's channels. Maybe they'll show you something that the other, the other LP or didn't or whatever, you know? So here, oh, dang girl. Okay. Let me just do this. I know I keep going. Okay. Okay. Just a lot of, okay. <laughs> But anyways, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy. But, um, let me just see. Anything different? I'm not noticing any, anything different at all, actually, for the hairstyles. So, uh, let me check out the, nope, those are all the same. Okay, let's see about, uh, if you click the body itself, you'll get the tattoos. And I feel like the tattoos are also very similar um, there might be a few different ones, like obviously the butterfly and things like that. And I loved, I actually wanted to get this tattoo. And it's kind of crazy that the, the teens are allowed to have tattoos. Like, God, you must have some cool parents because this would never be happening. Although this one looks like a jail tattoo, like no joke. But how do I know? I don't know because I've never been in jail. But anyways, that's okay. Um, <laughs> there we go again. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's just jump into some clothing. All right, styled looks. I didn't show you the styled looks in the teens, but we'll live.
Um, I love this feature because it's sometimes I'm just like, I just want to play, dude. Like, I don't even care about what the hell my sim looks like. But, oh, look at that. Oh, swag. Oh, <laughs> you got that swag sauce. You dripping swag. Ooh, boo. <laughs> Jeez. Jennifer, stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. I probably already have. I'm Davishi, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this one. Seriously, that is fancy. That is so fancy. I love it. These are so cute. Gosh, whoever did these clothes, like, really had it going on. Like, seriously, they're amazing. So we're just going to go through. See, like, even look at this detail. Like, it looks like little jewels. Like, it legit looks like jewels, not a whole bunch of pasted, pixelated pixels if you make, um, if you catch my drift. But anyways, I this is going to be the fastest cast in the whole entire world, like, ever. But... You guys get the idea, you know? Yeah, you, you get it. We all, we all, we all have eyeballs. All right, let me see what else. Oh, we got a raw. What the heck is this? Uh-uh. Like, who would, would I go out like that? Like, I don't understand. I really do. I really do. I really do like the teens' um, outfits. I'm noticing a lot of different, different things here, especially with, like, you know, more rebellious type of outfits or outfits that you would never let your teens go in. Um, just whole different sorts of things, you know, like all different strokes for all different folks, walks of life, you know, I love it. I really, really do. I think they put a lot of effort into these clothes. Ooh, excuse me. Like, look at this ensemble. Like, this is, this is catwalk worthy. Okay. Um, let me just go through the rest of this. Obviously, Jennifer, you're not going to be able to see the chones unless you take off the pants. Ah. I think these you mean sexery. Ex I said sexeries. A accessories. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway. Well, who are you? All right. Let me just see what else is in here. I feel the need to just look at everything because I haven't yet. But just look at the freaking texture on these pants. Like, they look like they're velvety or something. I love it. Seriously, I feel like the game looks so much more better in the non-demo version. I really do. I feel like this is this is pretty boss. Did I show you guys the full outfits yet? No, I didn't. We got same situation as before. Hacho clown outfit. All that cool stuff. And then we've got even the Grim Reaper, which is kind of cool. You know, if you want to skiss any sims to death, I'm pretty sure these would work. Um, all different sorts of different cute little things. Ooh, la la. Like, do they have this in Oh, purple. Mm -mm. It is all over when the girls are purple. Like, I love this color. Ah! Oh, I love it so much. Now I wish I was playing with girl sims. Okay. So, yeah. I just want to get through this. I just want to get... Um... Age check. Not appropriate. I never wore anything like that when I was a teenager. That might be a fluke. Oh, jeez. Seriously? That's disgusting. Oh, God. No. Anyways, just moving on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me check out this last one here. Okay. <gasps> I'm so excited. All right. So now that we have that, we went to the bottoms. Just lots of different sorts of things. Skirts. We've got just, yeah, all this stuff. We went through this, Jen. Accessories is what I wanted to touch bases on now. We've got gloves rings all sorts of bling um we also have what i love the most different types of tights like they're not all the same um kind or texture all different sorts of stuff just all sorts of different things and i love it i just oh my gosh you guys seriously if i could be more excited and start yelling and screaming i probably would but it's good that people are here because then like you know i'm not yelling in your own house but yeah all right let's just check out the shoes and see what's in here Okay, pretty snazzy. I'm loving these, especially, especially with those socks, though. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, look at their rings. Like, I like that you can kind of stack them up, too. So, it's not, I, I don't feel like you could in the Sims 3. I don't even think you could actually stack them up like that. So, it's kind of cool that you're able to um, here. Did I look at the earrings or anything? I don't think I did. I don't think I checked out the girl earrings. I think we missed that. So, Let's just check those out real fast. Um, there's little ice cream cones, studs. We've got glasses, all sorts of different exciting new gizmos to play with. I am so excited that I finally, like seriously, the wait for this was killer, 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 killer. Like it was, it was too long, too long. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to save everything in terms of uh, personalities, because I kind of really went over that in my demos. Please check them out if you're interested. I really went through the young adult and adult stuff. There's probably some new, um, some new huh? stuff to be had. Like just look at how his face changes. Like now he has like dimples and he's grown up so much more. Um, and I, I feel like a lot of this stuff is similar. Um, some of it's new, 
There's a few new things in here, but I'm sure they're all things that we're going to touch bases on in the actual gameplay, especially with like the, the traits and the aspirations and stuff. Um, but yeah, let me just show you what it looks like to be a young adult. And then when she's an adult, you can kind of see like the age detailing there. And then let's just look at the old late. Whoa, girl. The first thing I saw was boop. There we go. A little bit better. Okay. Just now straighten it out. There we go. Now, perk it out. Okay, you're good. No, maybe not. Just tone those. Okay, much better. Anyway, no, I'm just totally joking. But yeah, you guys can check all this stuff out. Um, all the uh, different like ways you can customize your Sims and such in my demo. So let's just see what kind of old people stuff we got real quick. Pretty much the same things that are available to the other ages, except, you know, they're for old people. And I think... The walks and stuff are all pretty much the same. Yeah. Let's just check out old men. Oh, you're a babe. Okay. All right. So let me see. We can also edit the relationships um, between the two. We can either make her a roommate, sister, or a wife. And yeah, all that cool stuff. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and find the Sims I created. Actually, I didn't create them. I picked them up. I picked them out from you guys when you use the hashtag X Urban Sims XLP or X USLP. And I went with a family and I really liked my storyline. Um, and I really liked a lot of your guys' ideas based on that storyline. So I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to go with what my storyline originally was, but where the storyline takes off is definitely um, on you guys. I already have an idea because I've read your guys' suggestions, but I just figured. Uh, let me go get the sims and I'll show you. Okay, so I am back with the sims that we're going to be using for my LP. These sims are actually created by... Hold on a second. I have to go ahead and get them. Um, they were created by... Doo -doo -doo. Um, let me see. They were created by... Not me. No, they're not created by me. Crap. Who were they created by? Oh my gosh. I will totally give you credit... In the comments down below um for some reason like i'm trying to find all of my stuff but it's all jibber jabbered messed up but i totally did not make these sims they were created for me when i had asked you guys to create me some sims and these will be the brothers that i will be using for this lp if you're curious as to what their background is i don't want to take up too much time but basically they are twins and they are split personalities we have mr you know, tough and rugged over here, who's kind of like the dodo bird. Um, he's the looks, and definitely Aaron is the brains. Now, their last name is Barnes, or Barneys, but I call them Barnes, the Barnes Brothers. It's just, it, it's easier for Jennifer to pronounce, even though it could be Barneys. I did actually change a little bit of the traits. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, take you guys through their kind of personalities really really fast before we end this first part and jump into the gameplay um first I want to say again sorry if I'm really quiet I do have tons of people in my house right now second of all I'm usually a lot more crazy but you're just gonna have to stay tuned for that wink wink nudge nudge and I know I didn't go through everything in create a sim because a I did it on purpose and b I really just want to jump into the gameplay but if you always want to see more of that from me, I can always do a separate video on it later on. But anywho, um, so first guy here is Christopher Barnes. He is the bodybuilder type um, with a high metabolism, will never gain weight a day in his life. He is non-committal. Um, he is an active and self-assured kind of sim. This is his walk. He has kind of that tough macho swagger, you know, that you can't touch this. Oh, no, no, no. Look, yeah, that's definitely him. What the hell is my cat doing? I don't know. This is his waist. Very warm and um, kind of exotic sounding. Very deep. He is a young adult and his relationship is definitely... Oh, cool. They've already done it. Um, he is brothers, obviously, with Aaron. Sweet. Love it. Okay. What else could he be with Aaron? He could be a husband and a roommate. Perfect. Um, so let's just take him through his little outfits real quick. Um, this is his formal outfit, his active, and then we've got sleep. Ooh, looks like he has some tattoos. I love your choice of tattoos, and I'm so sorry I can't remember your name. Trust me, it has been crazy, but, like, the moment I saw these Sims, the moment I saw these two, I was like, these are mine. They have to be in my game. Like, 
they're perfect there's just no other way to put it but i'm loving these like the moment i saw them i'm like yep this is it this is perfectly how i would imagine them to look and i'm so freaking excited i i love it you did an amazing job and i'm so sorry i'm not calling you by your username but seriously you nailed it and the cool thing is is that all your submissions aren't going to go to waste i can use them in future lps um i can have different types of swimswear lps if i want and i can also use them as um not extras but you know maybe a, a girlfriend of of christopher or a love interest of aaron who knows how your creations can be included just because you created them and i didn't use them no hard feelings i will totally find use for you guys' creations trust me i have mad respect for you guys' skills but these two definitely suited my um, envision of of the Barnes brothers, or or, or not now now the, the Barnes brothers, but just the, the the brothers I had in mind. Okay, so this is Aaron. Now his brother was very you know egotistical, high testosterone. This guy's got big feet. You know what that means? Big socks. Okay. Um, the, this guy was just very uh you know tough and rugged, go getter. You know he kind of hid behind this mask muscle almost and Aaron is just so done with his crap but he also acts like he's better than his brother Christopher in a more intellectual level but in the end or in underneath it all he really secretly wants to be like his brother uh, a chick magnet or you know just more um, athletic because Aaron's a little Aaron's a little skinny these days but let's just go through his um his uh his little bio his walk is bouncy so he kind of has a little bit of a bouncy walk to him he's a renaissance sim so he's very into you know knowledge and just kind of soaking up this information as the world uh, from the world as he goes along he is a quick learner he loves the outdoors also is very creative and is a genius i did change the traits to fit what i wanted to do um but i kept most of them the same so this is his everyday outfit his formal, I'm loving it. Uh, his athletic is very perfect. And his pajamas are so cute. Like, seriously, though, his feet are huge. I'm just saying. Um, and then this is his party outfit, which is very nerdy and such. But if you guys are interested in the full description of the, the, the Barnes Brothers, as they are now called, link it down below. Or I'm going to link it down below in the description. But just a quick summary. We've got Christopher and Aaron. And they are brothers twins but they are just complete polar opposites we've got the athletic hunk and the nerdy little nerdy little twerp that wants to be that wants to be just like his big bro secretly but also acts like he's just a little bit smarter than him just a little more classier and sassier so if that makes any sense whatsoever read about the description down below and we'll play from there so let's go ahead and i think that's pretty much it that's all i want to show you guys again if you want to see more stuff from Cass, check out The Simmas. Or if you there's something you really want me to, to oh my god, really? <laughs> if you want me to really go on about it, I will do a more in-depth of, of the full cast. So, the Barnes Bros for LP. Check out, uh, check the click to save this household for your library. I can randomize a portrait. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit more better. There we go. They were both doing the same, like thing like jazz hands or whatever and uh in my personal opinion they are not that close okay so what world should we play in i wasn't thinking of it yet i think oasis springs kind of speaks to me a little bit um so this is kind of what everything looks like and of course as we go along of course we can't afford this lot we will explore new things the only thing i don't like is that the map is so small and I don't really like that it's like this. I, I miss being able to move around and scroll around and like feel like it was realistic. But I'm giving this a chance. Okay, so here are um, one, two, three, four, five, five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six different neighborhoods. Okay, so there's different starter homes too. Um, I could actually turn off these tips, which Jennifer's definitely going to have to do at some point. So let's just check out... Um, Willow Creek too. One, two, three, four, five, six different neighborhoods. I don't know if that counts, but these are all the different types of stuff in Willow Creek. Um, we've got a few empty lots here, some starter homes and stuff like that. But I really like Oasis Springs. I 
I, I can sense that for them. I really do. So let's just go ahead and have them move in. And the reason why they even live together, you're like probably like, why, is, why are they even living together if they hate each other? Well, the, the beautiful part of this song, please ignore this little thing. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, the beautiful, the beautiful thing about this whole entire situation is that they're only living together because Aaron secretly obviously wants to see why his bro is such a chicken magnet. And then also, um, you know, life's expensive. Psh, they just came out of college and they can't afford a big old place, let alone living by themselves. It's just not going to happen. So let's just go and pick a starter house. Um, there we have the one bedroom, one bath, and that's pretty much it. We have this choice or that choice. Um, I kind of don't like either and we will only have $8,000 left. Ugh. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to pick this one that we have a little more money with because we might have to actually buy some stuff um, for the Barnesboro's. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Okay, taking control. There are so many new features in The Sims 4. Before we can get to all of them, we need to cover some basics. Okay, um, zoom. Okay, we're not doing this, Jennifer. We are gonna go ahead and turn off the, um, off this real quick. I will be right, right back. Okay, so I have actually no idea how to turn off the lessons. I guess that's something I'm gonna have to just figure out on my own. Um, the camera controls are a little bit different, you guys. Things are a little strange. Okay, I probably should have paid attention to them and I didn't, but that's okay. So let me just go ahead and show you guys the um, the house really quick. It's nothing special um, and it looks just a little something like this. Here is the front, here is the back. It's definitely Definitely like a little tiny shack, but I think it's kind of cute. I do like it. Um, and this is about as far as we can go off of our lot. Um, I don't really know if there's anything we can do too much. Actually, we could go fishing. Um, you just gotta click that little thing. So there's some fishing areas. Erin would love that. Um, and then we can go just about up to the street here. I think we have neighbors and we can actually visit our neighbors, which is perfect. Um, I don't know if there's anyone that lives there right now, but we could visit them. Here is another cute little house that I love. Oh my gosh, sorry. If I'm not good at these controls yet, we will get there. So, all right, cool. Um, yeah, so this is just kind of like our surroundings and like look at the water, how freaking gorgeous is this? Um, so our surroundings, um, and then let me go ahead and show you guys how to get in, or how the inside looks. Okay, so that's like with the roof and without the roof. Here are the walls. We have a back door, which we could probably delete. We don't need that. Um, we only have one room right now, which we're going to have to fix because obviously we have two sims and they are not about to share rooms or beds together, let alone, let alone rooms. They're not going to share beds. So yeah, if that even, I don't even know if that even made sense, but yes, I'm so freaking excited. Um, okay, so here's our little TV. It's very tiny and not too cute, but... We have a nice size kitchen, so what I'm thinking the rest of the money will probably build a little room like off of here or something in the next part. That'll be like one of the first things that we do. We'll get Mr. Aaron set up. You know, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Handsome Christopher, being the being the swaggy kind of sim that he is, the the boss, Big Daddy Smooth Skin. He's already claimed this room for his own, and uh, I don't know what just happened, but. Aaron walked in on his brother peeing and apparently is taking notes of the situation, but because they're brothers, all is well in the Barnes household and no shame in his game. So I think I'm going to stop there. There's really nothing else to show you guys. Um, and we are going to go ahead and move on to part two. I really don't know what this little notification thing, the little numbers are up there. That kind of drives me nuts, but they show up sometimes. I think it's a secondary screen recorder or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I will see you guys in my next part i am so freaking excited sorry if i'm like all over the place um definitely a little flab flabbergasted right now um but i'm very 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 excited to continue filming and i'm gonna do probably one more part or two if i can if i can if i can because my husband needs to go to sleep and it's kind of late but um yeah, guys, I hope you're excited for my LP. I know this part's a little a little bit of a diamond in the rough, um, scatterbrained and all over the place. It's really hard learning a new game um, and filming it at that. Like, I have had no instructions whatsoever. So, um, 
Yeah, I don't even want to end it, but I have to. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You can start leaving suggestions and keep on sending me your creations um, and all of that jazz. So um, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my very next Let's Play. Bye, guys.